everyone welcome back to the es platform if you're a subscriber and or a consistent watcher welcome back and if you are new to this growing family welcome to this platform so for today's video i've decided to curate an es essentials list it includes six pieces that i believe should be a staple in your wardrobe these are pieces that i find to be transitional they offer versatility they offer longevity and i just feel as though you should have them i've kept away from jewelry and bags because i don't feel as though they make my top six list i do have one pair of shoes in this list because i'm a shoe girl and shoes always make the list and um, and you'll also see that the colors are mostly neutral so let's dive straight in number one on this es essentials list is the wolford jamaica bodysuit it is super plain nothing much to it and I love this piece so this is one of the pieces that I never really knew I needed until I started working with stylists a couple of years ago and I'm telling you up until this point I'm yet to meet a stylist who does not have the Wolford Jamaica bodysuit in their kit this is an essential every single one of your favorites your favorite female performer or celebrity has worn this because their stylist will tend to have it in their kit now, Kim Kardashian has just come out with her Skims brand, which is pretty similar to the Walford brand. But prior to her having her own brand, she used to wear Walford bodies. And there's obviously loads of different types, but the Jamaica is such a popular one. Now, it does come in a few colours. Um, I actually have the black and the white because I figured as essentials, you know, you can't really go wrong with blacks and whites. But I'm keen to get a nude. My only reservation with Walford is that they don't actually offer a nude tone for darker skin tones. I would really like to purchase a nude coloured bodysuit, but unfortunately it won't be from Walford. So I'm actually planning on making a purchase from Nubian Skin. Um, Nubian Skin is a black owned brand that's very similar to the Walford brand. Uh, at a much lower price point and caters to different skin tones. I've seen that they have a really beautiful dark chocolate toned bodysuit. So as soon as I purchase that, I promise to give you guys a review and let you know what I think. But I'm very excited for that purchase. However, in the meantime, we have the Walford bodies. They work really, really well as an undergarment, as an underpiece. Whether you throw a blazer on top or whether you just put a skirt on and go out in the evening whether it's during the day and you want to wear a suit and you just wear it under your suit. They are so transitional, which is why they make top of my list. If you are going to get anything at all from this video, it please make it a really nice, basic bodysuit. You can obviously get them from Pretty Little Thing. You can get them from Misguided, I'm sure. But I swear by these Walford ones. They actually have loads of different styles and I'm looking to purchase sort of the longer sleeved and the turtlenecks but these right here are a godsend i promise you number two on the list we have the infamous lbd the little black dress so a little bit of fashion history for you guys this was originally designed by coco chanel and the idea behind it was that women needed something simple and accessible during the great depression something that was affordable something that you know was elegant but still below a certain price point and the little black dress was born a few years later dior elevated the original version of the little black dress and since then throughout history the little black dress has had some incredible moments in the limelight has been magnified through movie through film through television through celebrity from the little black dress that was worn by audrey hepburn in breakfast at tiffany's to the little black dress that princess diana wore the so-called revenge dress so it's just a staple piece that i honestly feel every woman should have in their wardrobe it doesn't have to be expensive it doesn't have to be dior or chanel of course and that was the whole purpose of the little black dress now i actually have several variations of the little black dress in my closet but one of my favorites is this beautiful spaghetti strap asos design ruched mini dress it's super cute, super easy, and very feminine. Now, it also has this additional touch of like a side train um, that sort of runs down your leg. It is so beautiful, so elegant, and actually very, very cheap. Now, just like the previous video, if you guys have any questions or would like me to provide you with links for any of the items that you see, 
please just comment below and I'll be very happy to do so. Now number three for me has to be a plain white tee. This pretty much goes without saying that everyone should have a plain white tee in their wardrobe. Now my favourites are actually these very simple crew neck white t-shirts from the Japanese brand Uniqlo. First of all, I feel as though your ES Essential t-shirt has to be a crew or a round neck. I'm not a big fan of v-neck white t-shirts as an essential piece. And secondly, I'm a fan of Uniqlo for things like this. There's certain things that I justify spending a lot of money on and certain others that I feel you can get a really good quality for a very affordable price. This is one of them. This is literally, I think, £10. Most ladies wear makeup and you can only wear white t-shirts so many times before it discolours. So for me, I feel as though the best option is just to buy really good quality, low-priced t-shirts and then just replace them whenever you need to do so. Uniqlo is a really good one. It's 100% cotton. They feel incredible. They last you quite a while, actually, regardless of the makeup. And when you need to get rid of them and replace them, you know, it's not cost you much at all so you can do so without feeling guilty i'm a big fan really easy piece can really pretty much go with anything this definitely makes the es essentials list next item to make my list is just a pair of really well fitting denim jeans i've actually experimented with jeans quite a lot i've bought different brands different price points and just sort of tried to see which ones I love, which ones I'm not too crazy about, and there's some really good high-end jeans out there. However, as an everyday essential wardrobe piece, I vouch for the Zara jeans. As a high street brand, I think they do really good denim jeans. They do not last forever, but that's okay. They still last you a long enough time that you get your money's worth out of them, for sure. Now, my favorite pair are these mid-rise skinnies, um, and I pretty much just replace them whenever I need to. They are such a great staple piece to have. Good thing about denim jeans is that they come in a variety of fits and styles and sizes so you can definitely switch them up to fit your personal style as best as you'd like but for me a good pair of just mid blue denims are absolutely everything whether you want to pair them with sneakers and a t-shirt as a very casual day look or whether you want to throw on a pair of heels and a flowy blouse and make it turn it into like an evening piece i do not think you can go wrong with a pair of really good denims so that's number four now, number five may come as a bit of a surprise to you guys, but this is another piece just like the Walford bodysuits that I have discovered over the last couple of years working with stylists that they all pretty much have in their archive. It is a good quality leather jacket. Now, there's obviously variations to this, but I will explain why this one specifically for me. It is a really beautiful, soft leather, waterfall jacket now my only reservation with leather jackets is that a lot of them come with sort of gold or silver hardware and to me that just hardens whatever you pair them with and um, whether you throw on a dress and throw on the jacket on top the hardware just for me makes it a lot harsher as a look so why i prefer this one is because this one has no hardware whatsoever it's very soft as a leather as well it doesn't have much in terms of like shoulder pads and structure so when i pair this with like a dress it still looks very feminine and flows very nicely and doesn't harden the look as much as hardware leather jackets tend to do one thing i will say about the leather jackets is that i do feel as though you should invest in a good quality leather piece because it will last you a while you know you you purchase one at a bit of a premium but it will become a staple in your wardrobe for many many years and this one is actually french connection now it wasn't extremely high-end it was sort of more mid-range but I've now had it for about four years and it's still in pretty good condition. It's dry clean only and it needs a steam so leather jackets can be high maintenance but they are definitely worth having because I throw this on top of pretty much anything that I have on and it's an instant win and it works really well for sort of autumn and spring where the weather isn't exactly set in place. So I highly 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 recommend you having a beautiful leather jacket in your closet whether you want to go for the gold and silver hardwares or whether you want to do a simple feminine waterfall one that's a little bit softer on the eye um totally up to you but i highly recommend having one at least for six and the final piece on the es essentials list for me is definitely a pair of colored pumps just something to add a pop of color to your outfits um i think is definitely definitely an essential now whatever you choose the color to be is totally up to you but for me it has to be red i 
absolutely love these. Now these are Kurt Geiger and Kurt Geiger is my favourite high street shoe brand. And I am obsessed with the Britain Hill. This is the Britain Hill. It has a super, super slim heel. And everyone's always like, oh my god, how do you walk in those? But they're actually so comfortable, it's ridiculous. I have had these for about five years, which is why they look a little bit battered. But I can't let them go. And I went to Kurt Geiger recently to replace them, and I found out that they no longer do the red heel. They now do like a silver, I think it's either silver or gold heel. And... I don't know, for me, I just feel as though the Red Hill works so much better and just is more of an impact and more of a pow. So I probably will just end up buying what they have now with the silver or the gold and then just paint the heel red because I love these. They're so amazing. They add such a strong effect to pretty much whatever outfit you throw them on with. Um, and I like them because they can be sort of work time and they can also be evening, mingle, drinks, fun time. I recently purchased black. I would show them to you but they're not here at the moment and um, I love them. I think they're super easy and that is why these make my ES Essentials list. Go out and buy these. Go out and buy the Kurt Geiger Britain heels. You need them in your life, absolutely. So that's everything. As I said, it was just gonna be a quick video just to give you my um, ES Essentials list. This is just my staple pieces. I am happy to do an ES Essentials list for sort of seasonal things, um, if you guys would like that. I'm happy to do longer lists, but I thought as an introduction to sort of my wardrobe and what I think is an essential, I'd just start with my top six below with any questions or anything you'd like to share with me and um, if you would like any links like I said earlier please comment those as well and I'll be happy to share those with you so yeah that is all for me today um, please do not forget to like subscribe share comment all of that good stuff and I will see you guys next week